I saw all the chunks just go up the straw. <laughs> Today's a very exciting video because I'm starting a little series about something I'm very, very passionate about. Gotcha. This video is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Your Mom Ashley. She made a video rating all of the highly rated matchas like in her area. And I thought I would do the same thing. I'm always looking for the next best place I can get matcha, even though the best place for me to get matcha is always just a homemade one because honestly nobody has been able to beat that yet other than in new york if you haven't watched my new york video go watch that now okay i'm gonna be rating the matchas a couple different ways i'm gonna be rating them color quality taste and presentation just like general like aesthetic of how it's presented to me i'm gonna give it like a one through five star Kind of rating. The good matcha lattes, the things you want to look for with the color are like you want a vibrant green. I'll just put a little picture of like the different levels of green. I've been served like swampy ass green. That's what you want to look for when you're buying matcha powder. You want to look for it on the menu but usually they don't like have that listed. If it's not ceremonial grade it's going to be culinary grade and that's when you're getting into like swamp territory. But a lot of coffee shops just buy culinary grade. So that's when I get very upset. But in this video, I'm just going to be ordering a iced matcha latte with oat milk. I'm going to give myself vanilla because I know some of these are just not going to be good. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to film my own recipe and show you how I make it at home. And it's just... Our first stop on the list is Wells Coffee. I found this one on TikTok. They are in Fort Lauderdale. A couple people made videos talking about this is the best matcha in Fort Lauderdale. Like, okay, we'll see about that. Let's go, I'm scared. So, upon first inspection, very good vibes in there. I did notice that the matcha was being stored in a glass container and not a like tin or a container that doesn't let light pass through it. I don't know exactly the science, but I know that that's important. Color is a little bit pale for my liking. Not great. This one kind of has like a, it tastes like, it's like seaweed. And, and I asked for vanilla in here, so there's vanilla in here and it still tastes like seaweed color i'm gonna give it a three presentation and vibe the shop is very cute the presentation is cute a four quality i'm gonna give it a two because i can for sure tell that this is not the greatest quality matcha taste yeah i'm also gonna give it a two because i think the only thing saving it is the vanilla syrup um um i'm trying not to be mean not the best matcha okay we'll try again <laughs> we're at um spot number two i drove to i don't even know where um lighthouse point a city i've never been to um but it was only like 20 minutes away from my pilates studio so i just pulled up and it is called the seed coffee house it's one of those like instagrammy like that vibe you know it seems like they have a lot of like specialty like fruity cinnamon cereal it looks like they're like most popular is their strawberry matcha so i might get a regular matcha and oh they have lavender too let's go a four i would li i like it like a tad darker just like but I'm, that's just me being picky but it's not grainy at all so i'm gonna give the quality a four as well not bad i actually i'll finish that but this one is a lot for me i think you know the problem is that i'm not even like a strawberry girl if you like strawberry i think you would die for this i'm just not a strawberry girl and it's very sweet anyway I also got this. I, I like the place. Inside is very cute. Overall, pretty good stop on my matcha journey. Okay, well, 
Well, we kind of got bamboozled because online that place looks like a fully functioning coffee shop and it was basically a coffee bar in a hotel. First off, second of all, I want you to just take a look at this. Look at the chunks in here. Even the guy who was making it, he was like, are you sure? <laughs> he went like this, he went like this, he went, order up. Yeah, this this is not, not. Color, this shit is pale AF, so I'm gonna give it a two. Quality, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared. I don't even drink matcha like that, but I just like, I have, ew, I saw all the chunks just go up the straw. <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna vomit. I think this is easily gonna be like last place. I don't even drink but, matcha. I am a coffee person, mm -hmm. but like what I'm tasting is the vanilla milk. That's what all I like. it is. I'm gonna give it a zero on quality because um, taste, I'm gonna give it also a zero. And presentation, I'm gonna give it a zero. I'm so sorry. I feel like presentation could be like a one. We had to, because of the sticker, yeah. I guess. Technically, when you first look at it, <laughs> okay, no, it looks pretty bad. Hey, sticker, I'll give you one star. For the sticker. For the sticker. But yeah, we had to come back to the car just so I can absolutely shit on them because I wasn't gonna shit on them. No, so all. awkward in there too. It was literally just oh, like a hotel lobby. And people like, were like working. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Fished. Yeah, $8 matcha. $8! Oh. Okay, so now we're at Lady Banger, and honestly, this looks pretty promising. Mm -hmm. The color. Mm -hmm. The color looks fun. Actually makes color drink looks phenomenal. So I'm going to give it immediately a five. This is the color you want to look for for me. Give it a taste. Yeah. It's 10 out of 10. Five on quality. Presentation lacks, but this place is really cute. So I'll still give it a four. What was the other one? Taste five, presentation four, quality five, color five. I also think it's because the girl who made it like knows like it's a girl. She she's a, she's for the girls. She knows how to make a matcha. You can just tell them they're like you're gonna fuck me up, aren't you? the second I start recording all the birds start going ape shit somebody starts doing landscaping we made it to the end the part where I show you how I make my matcha I have all my ingredients here show you what I use starting off with the matcha choose whatever matcha makes your heart flutter but make sure that it's a ceremonial grade like that's the only thing that matters and you're getting the best flavor for matcha and you're not getting served like a swamp juice i hope these birds in the background sound like angelic and not like annoying but <laughs> so this one is from whole foods i just have been using this because of convenience but it tastes great i also really like chamberlain coffee's matcha is really good um, I've tried matcha matcha bar. If it's not matcha bar, I'll put it on the screen. It's the matcha that um, Joe and the Juice uses. I've used a bunch. I like them all, um, but I just have been sticking to this one because I can get it easily at Whole Foods. So, oh fuck, I forgot something. Okay, gotta act fast before my ice melts. Start with a glass of room temperature water. I always, I'm a milk stan, so any type of almond milk or any type of milk that you like and whatever sweetener you like to use. My favorite is maple syrup. The combination of maple syrup and matcha is like my favorite. You're gonna get your room temperature water. You don't want it to be boiling. It really should be like warm. I just use room temperature like out of the fridge, so it's fine. I'm getting 
kind of like a heaping teaspoon, putting it straight into the water. I want to be using like an actual like matcha sifter, like a bowl, I think they're called chawans, and like the actual like wooden. And I just kind of keep going until I have like a little bit of a foam on top. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but I just try and get as many chunks out as possible. I have my cup of ice now, but there's water at the bottom, so let me in. Whatever milk that you want to use, I'll go like halfway to the cup. The ratio is very important, okay? For the sweetener, whatever you choose, I just do like a little bit of a little drizzle of maple. This is organic dark maple syrup. The dark maple syrup just has like more of a rich flavor. Just too much on top. Give it a mix. Perfect color. This is what you want to see. This is a spectacular color. Take a sip. Cheers. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for being here. I've already started my list of like Miami matcha spots, so this will definitely be a multi-part series. I guess I have to make a little bit of a disclaimer. The purpose of this video is not to like shit on businesses. It's just research, okay? It's just research for me and for anyone watching this who wants to not pay for swamp water matcha, so. I had a fun time filming this. I definitely found spots that I like and I will definitely be going back. But yeah, I don't I'm not trying to be like tough like a food critic, you know. Whatever. I you can't please everyone. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you see you soon.